friends welcome back to my channel i am the mentor so today we're going to be doing logo designing so there um some tips and tricks for logo designing so first you can just open a web some a web size of an illustrator and just take this line tool over here there's also a shortcut so you can just click and drag with shift make a straight line i'm just going to tell you the trick so just um copy this like this much and copy the same thing and select all copy again select all and then keep copying until it reaches there how much i'll tell you like this that's enough these are the lines i've made so right now these are the lines i made now you can just um reflect this so transform and reflect and this is not a new tool you can just change this maybe 300 like this and now you can copy this again transform reflect up oh. so as you can see this is done and now you can just set all and rotate like this In the driver shape so now you can just uh, take the shape for uh, this you can just take the shape little tool and uh, click on whatever you want and not so let's think you have to make a logo so I'll uh, just drag it like it's a pencil like this first shape now the second shape like this and this from here to and from here like this and this is the shape so let's select this and this and change the color to red so we can see it properly and the e to blue so now we can just take this out this is one way you can do it and there are many ways but we'll just take this way right now. and you can delete everything from here delete. so just for reference for our logo to be easier for us to make and here you have it this is our logo it can be l e so we can just add text over here v e e space v e e just p v e e this is our text logo so we can change the color so first you can just select this one and delete the text and just copy it and that's it v -E -E. now you can change the color for this text we can add um like one red and like the same thing so eyedropper tool as i taught you already the eyedropper tool done so this is going to be our logo this is going to be stylish and i'm also going to show you some logos Like this the company logos so you as you can see they're very simple they're very simple logos there are some complicated ones like you can say right here you can see adidas so it says shoe over here and mcdonald's and all that so we also made our own like it's ve for our brand so for this brand you can also um uh, remove the stroke first Click over here and uh, click on this none so there will be no stroke because we don't need strokes that's it this can be our logo and we can also change the color of to this to dark blue from here dark blue that's it so this can be our logo and we can add a yellowish over here from here And we can change the color to yellow like this and send this to back like already told you shortcut 
control shift and the square brackets so select everything and you can just put that in front on top and just change this bright yellow to a bit well like this one light yellow that's enough so now we were working on the logo so i'm also going to show you one more trick technique so let's select the lines again first we'll lock the background so control 2 now we can just add any one more trick to make the logo so do the same thing copy it the reason you can't see it because there's no strokes so add a black stroke so you can see it properly that's enough so now you can just copy this like this much and uh, you can just pop, keep copying it select all keep copying it again select all and keep copying it That's it. So select all and you can just reflect it, transform, reflect, and copy. So you can see this one. So we can also use the shape builder tool again over here and, and draw all the lines. So first select and then use the shape builder tool. So now we can make an L over here and one up. And we can add after this L, we can add um. We can add and we can add this L O. So you can just select this part and this and change the color. Again, you just do any color, a dark color, so you can see properly. So now you can just take the zoom out and take this and delete all of this. So there's one more trick technique over here. So we just use square. That was a diamond one, so this one was a square one. This is LO or something like this logo. So you understand the concept. So we just made this LE something. VE, I meant V and E. So after this, we can add some squares down here like this. And from these two anchor points, you can just like curve it a bit over here. And we can remove the stroke again. And we can add this over here. Bring it on top. So now we can add different colors over here. So let's add a black one, a black and white color first. This can be a black color over here. Copy this again. Change it to white. We are we are doing this so that the the client has more colors to choose from rather than the only color over here. So these are two colors. Now we can add one more. We can add this color, uh, we can say blue, light blue. So this will fit in here, like this. And now we can copy this one and add a red one. A light red. And the same thing. So you can see right here. First we we'll um, set this. And bring this one here. And this one. And select all of it and bring it over here like this and you can just select the original one again make it bigger which using shift like this and add from here we can add it over here so you can invert the colors, copy it and paste it over here, like this. You can invert the colors, so this can be blue. And this can be red. And this can be blue. And this can be red. Just invert the colors. So now the light has more to choose from. And also looking good. And we can add some shadows on the squares. So only select the squares. And go to Effect, Stylize. You can add an outer glow. Normal. Okay. 
that's looking good. And also you can add a color here. Like this. And uh, we can add a greenish color. A very light green. Like this. Like this. So this is how you make it. And this is the presentation and all. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. And before I go, I would like to say that for the flyer design, it's the same thing. So I'm giving you an assignment. So you can just um, add a um, the same thing, the mock-up from the internet, as I told you, as for my business card and uh, other videos. You just have to add a mock-up of the flyer, just search, and you can practice by your own to make the mock-up of this. And after this, um, logos is done. Whichever the clients like, client likes, you can just add a mock-up and distribute it to him, whoever, whatever he likes. Right now, because it's not looking the best, so right now you can just after the uh, the client has um done which one he likes. Like if I like um like the white one, then I, I would say like I like this one. Then you can just add a mock-up on this this part and then show it to the client again. If he likes it back, and then that's it. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.